2 Corinthians 12 and 6 through 10. For I have plenty to boast about, and would be no fool in doing it, because I would be telling the truth, but I won't do it. I don't want anyone to think more highly of me than what they can actually see in my life and my message. Even though I have received wonderful revelations from God, but to keep me from getting puffed up, I was giving a thorn in my flesh, a messenger from Satan to torment me and keep me from getting proud. Three different times I begged the Lord to take it away, and each time he said, My gracious favor is all you need. My power works best in your weakness. So now I am glad to boast about my weaknesses, so that the power of Christ may work through me. Since I know it is all for Christ's good, I am quite content with my weaknesses and with insults and with hardships, persecutions, and calamities. For when I am weak, then I am strong. Lord Jesus, we thank you for all the hardships, the insults, the persecutions, the setbacks, the calamity, sickness. We thank you, Father God, that through these things, Lord, we've learned how to trust you. We've learned how to depend on you. We've learned how to rest in your favor, and we've learned how to trust your word. And God, we are forever grateful that your glory, hallelujah, comes out of all the things that we've been through, God, you still get the glory. And we thank you, Father God, for the victory over every storm in our lives. We thank you, Father God, hallelujah, for keeping us humble, even in times when it was so easy to boast about things that we've accomplished. Lord, we thank you for reminding us to humble ourselves. We ask, Lord, even when we're in situations where it's so easy for us to brag on ourselves and boast. We ask, Lord God, that you would quickly remind us of your word and that you would remind us that it was all you, hallelujah, who worked through us to bring glory to your own name. Lord, we thank you. We're not worthy, oh God, but you see something good in us. You see that we're capable, Lord, and we thank you, Lord. We're so grateful that you chose us, oh God, to carry out your gospel, your message, and your glory, we thank you, Father God, for your precious favor and your mercy upon our lives. And we ask, Father God, that you will continue to have your hand of mercy upon our lives. In Jesus' name, amen.